Before we start, look at this super cool computer beautifier. Make your computer stand out by animating things. This not just works offline, but its online mode works whenever you search and browse things online. This comes with a beautiful animated search engine. This search engine is made to make your searches smoother and attractive, unlike other search engines. When it comes to a browsing mode, it makes browsing ultra smoother. This adds Princess animations to make it even more classy. You get a customizable interface with this. This is Volvo Beautifier. Get your hands on. Try it yourself. It is fun when you use it. It is just a three step process to fix 0x80072EE2 error in Windows 10. Go to search bar and type CMD. Right click here and click on run as administrator. Then type this command scconfigwuaucrv start equal to auto and hit enter. Then type scconfig bits start equal to auto and hit enter. Then type scconfig crypt svc start equal to auto and hit enter. Then type scconfig trusted installer start equal to auto and hit enter. Then type exit to close the command prompt. Again go to search bar and open command prompt with run as administrator. Now type this command carefully net stop w u a u s e r v and hit enter. Now type net stop crypt svc and hit enter. Type net stop beats and hit enter. Then type net stop msi server and hit enter. Now type this command renc colon slash windows slash software distribution software distribution dot old and hit enter. Now type renc colon slash windows slash system32 slash catron2 catron2 dot old and hit enter. Then type net start wuaucrv and hit enter. Then type net start crypt svc and hit enter. Now type net start beats and hit enter. Then type net start msi server and hit enter. And then finally type exit to close the command prompt. Go to search bar, type powershell. Right click here and run as administrator. Now type this command wuaucltexe slash update now and hit enter and type exit to close this. Again go to search bar and type services. Click here to open it. Now scroll down and right click on windows update then select properties and select startup type as automatic. Click on apply and then OK. Now click here to stop the services. And then click on start to start the service. And finally click on restart. Now close this window and go to search bar and type troubleshoot. Click here to open it. Now in the troubleshoot click on windows update and click on run the troubleshooter that's it guys your problem will be solved you're good to go